four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. No, all eight are here. All present and accounted for. Three cubs tackling the buffalo carcass. One of the smallest and one of the oldest side by side. <laughs> Very valid point coming through from James Richard that the amount with the amount of time that we spend with the Inkahumas, we should probably add them to our credit roll at the end of every show. <laughs> James, I couldn't agree with you more. It is we've we've basically been with them every single day over the last month, and I'm for one am not complaining. Oh, why are you growling at the? <laughs> oh, I see. It's the one underneath growling because <laughs> it's being trodden upon. Oh, look <laughs> that tackling the buffalo with serious concentration. <laughs> I'm not complaining because when these cubs get bigger, the Inkoomas are going to start going back to their normal home range, which will mean they go into Torchwood, Buffles Hook, Manuleti, um, Simba Billy, and we're not going to see them nearly as often. Uh, we've got to take advantage of these moments while they last and what special moments they are. I'm not even sure what the time is. I'm so torn between the different sightings. Luckily, we know both of these sightings, both Karula and the lions, will be here tomorrow. So we will be able to enjoy spending time with them. <laughs> that was elegant. It was so elegant, I completely forgot which particular viewer asked the question I'm about to answer. <laughs> it was a t tube jar. Tube jar, my apologies. <laughs> my apologies, I got so distracted by the lion cub acting like a little goof that I've your name went straight out of my head. Tube jar, no. Lionesses generally do not tolerate the presence of another lioness or another group of lionesses in their territory. They are relatively strictly territorial. The Nkumas have been known to, on occasion, encounter the sticks and is usually met with some serious aggression. Look at these two playing in the silver cluster leaf. I know they're very hidden, but the ones ever so slightly on the right, you're not going to be able to see them, Vim. These two, yeah, <laughs> they found themselves the perfect jungle gym. <laughs> so, Tube Jar, the fights between lionesses can be quite vicious. Most of the time they avoid each other, especially when they have cubs like this, <laughs> as both the sticks and the Inkahumas do. Oh my goodness, this is so precious. <laughs> Oh goodness, I'm so torn. I was going to go to Karula, but we've got these lion cubs, they're being adorable. Oh well, it's just because we're spoiled, that's why. So Tube Jar, chances are, if there is a situation where an unknown lioness suddenly comes out of the woodwork and is seen, seen to be tolerated by the rest of the pride, Chances are that is because she's actually a lioness that's related to them or that they're familiar with in some way. Perhaps she left because of incoming males, for example. It does occasionally happen that prides get broken up in that way. I don't know where to look. I can't begin because now the, the, the lion cubs are wandering through. The, now the cubs are on the carcass and attacking it like they're trying to make a kill. 